Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel again. Once again, it's very good. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Um, I am going to cook some fish, which is croaker. I'm going to do fried croaker and I am going to do it the Jamaican style, even though we don't, uh, we don't really, a lot of Jamaicans are not familiar with croaker, but I like croaker because to me, when I fry the croaker, you can't steam it or anything else. But when you fry it to me, it tastes so close. It tastes so close to the Jamaican fish. You know, it, it's just my opinion of that. So sometimes I do fry the croaker. So I usually use the fryer, but unfortunately it's leaking oil. And I think maybe my son usually clean it. And I think maybe it needs, that's what needs to be done. But, you know, I equipment, I am not good at. So I have to wait until he comes home. So in the meantime, and then what I do realize now is that I gave, I donated, I had two um, Dutch pots because I am using the fryer and I had the Dutch pot sitting there. I just decided that I was going to just give them away. And now I'm looking for one to use and I realized that it's gone. It's not there anymore. So, yes, it's me. I have changed my hairstyle because I do a lot of outside gardening. And in the summertime, I need to have my hair short. So, you know, it's the heat and I'm in the sun and everything like that because I do a lot of outdoor garden real jamaica country gardening i do so um it's me it's me just the same just different hairstyle so now i am cooking some callaloo and i am going to prepare the the fish for frying So I have the fish here in the calendar. It's draining. And then I have on the fire, I have, unfortunately, this is not deep enough, but I have to make do with what I have. So I am using um, a saucepan. So anyway, let me go ahead and I am going to make sure that the fish is dried as good as possible. So I'm drying them further in foil paper. Not foil paper, I'm sorry. Um, paper towel. I'm going to dry them here on paper towel. And then I am putting another in another dish with paper towel. And I guess a lot of you watching, you know what um, steps we take to fry fish. And I already washed it in lemon, lime and vinegar to take the rawness out of it. Because you know how we are, we Jamaicans, we try to make sure. I don't say other people do not do it. But we try as much as possible to get most of the rawness out of the fish. We don't want it to taste like we are tasting something right from out of the sea. So, okay, so I'm going to use this again. Now I know the oil is hot. I'm going to turn it down a little bit until I'm finished doing this. So let me put this away. And then I have black pepper. I have Cajun season. And that is mainly for fish, and I have some onion powder. 
and I have some peppers here that I'm going to use after. So now I'm putting in, first I put the season and the black pepper. And because it's freshwater fish, you have to make sure you put a lot of the season on there. You want to give it some flavor. And this is what gives it the flavor, the Cajun season. I hate that I don't have a Dutch pot and I didn't even realize it. If I had known, I would not even have started preparing the fish. But it's such a long time that I have not used it. This thing is a little bit too hot. Okay, so now this is on there. And then I am going to put the black pepper. Remember, when I put it in the pot, some of it's going to go in the oil. So I make sure I have enough on there that when it comes out, it still has flavor. Okay, and then I know a lot of people don't do this. They just salt and black pepper on their fish. But I am putting garlic powder and onion powder. I mean, number one, Jamaica, um, American fish does not taste like Jamaican fish. Number two, this is a totally different fish than what we normally cook. So that means. You have to spice it up. And believe me, when you spice it up, you don't miss Jamaican fish. It might sound crazy, but that's true. Okay. So now the last thing I do here is I am going to put some olive oil spray on there to hold this as much of the season on it when I put it into the oil. Okay, so and I, I can see the oil is very hot. So now I'm going to be putting it in the oil. Okay, so now it is in the oil and it's fine. I have not used anything other than a fryer in such a long while. I hope this comes out the way I want it to. Okay, in the meantime, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move away while this is going on. And then I am still around, but I have, I am streaming from the computer, so I have it close to the stove. So in the meantime, I will come back. Just get rid of this and come back with another thing. Oh. 
Okay, I will put the fish in this. Uh, okay, so guys, while this is going on, I just want to remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to like, to share my YouTube videos with your friends, your family, your co-workers, the people you know, those who you don't not, do not know, even to your enemies. And why am I waiting? While I'm waiting, if any of you have any questions or want to discuss anything about my cooking, remember, I, you know, there are a lot of other things that I can cook, but because I am a pescatarian, it would not be worth it to cook anything that I don't eat. And, you know, this, my cooking is limited. And all my family members are pescatarians. You know, my son and his family they are pescatarians i have a son that lives here with me he's also pescatarian so i cannot cook anything other than food that we eat and this is why it's kind of limited i wish if i could cook if i knew someone close by who would eat the food when i cook i would have cooked something else but because i don't i just have to cook what I know will be eaten. If you guys have any questions, any comments about my cooking or what you'd like to see me cook, please let me know and I would be happy to cook whatever you want me to cook. Except for me. Okay, I'll turn it on the other side. The oil was, was hot enough, so, you know, it's not sticking, and that's great. So, it's, it turn, it's turning pretty easily onto the other side. One other thing, um, I usually put out maybe three or four videos of my cooking every week, but because I am now a farmer, I'm a summertime farmer, you're not going to get all the videos, but I just want to bear with you guys to bear with me because I will be back on a regular basis during the, the fall and the winter time and um, I have some videos doing gardening which I'm going to start posting on my YouTube. It's a cooking channel but you know and I was thinking maybe I should make a different channel for that but because it's just temporary then I think maybe I just you know like kind of squeeze it in there and put them in there. So you guys will see what I'm doing during the, the summertime. So again, remember to subscribe. And it is coming along pretty nicely. And let me see if I can show you the color loop. Um, this is my first time I'm going to be using the computer to, to go live. So I always use my camera, so I'm a little clumsy with it. But let me show you, this is the color loo. And this color loo I have in the freezer from summer. And I cooked some yesterday and I cooked some, I'm cooking some today. Well, it's already cooked. 
And then uh, I still have Callaloo from last summer. Still have Callaloo in the freezer from last summer. So I am trying to get rid of them now because since it's almost Callaloo time again, um, I have to get rid of all these before I can start storing more Callaloo. Oh. The sauce and the oil in the saucepan was very hot, so it did a good job here. Although I love I love when my fish is really crispy. Not burnt or crispy. Okay, now I am going to put some I'm going to Put them on paper towel again before I do the final step. So let me. Okay, if there's anyone that is just joining me, I just want to let you know that I am doing fried cocoa. So um, that's what I'm doing. It's almost done and I'm also fixing Kalalu on this side. So, okay, so now I am turning the stove off because it's done. And I put the fish on some foil paper to just drain some of the oil out. Oh, it looks so, it looks good. It really looks good. I mean, I miss frying it in the fryer, but this did a good job. Really good job. The only thing when you're frightening something goes so shallow, then there's work to do on the stove when I'm done. Okay, so it's on here and I drain it. So now I am going to put it into, let's see if. I'm just trying to get a position. As I say, this is my first time using it. I hope that soon I'll have over 1,000 subscribers so that I can subscribe from, so I can go live from my camera, which shows better and it gives a wider range. So, you know, with this, I have to have it up close and then I'm not accustomed to it. So some of me gets cut off, but just bear with me this time. So now, here I had made some peppers. And I know, you know, you put the pepper in the oil and, you know, whatever you do to, to put pepper in it. But I, I use this. And this I made with... um peppers and onions and carrots and and um, vinegar. So I am going to put some at the bottom. Get a spoon, just big enough to... I'm going to put some of this at the bottom of the dish. Then I'm going to put the fish 
n and I am going to I'm going to pour some of the vinegar on there. You know, I'm just at, I'm just giving it that Jamaican style taste. And then I pour some more of the peppers on there. And I'm going to put the rest in and do the same. And I'm going to do the same. Then I am going to let this sit for a little while and soak itself in, and then it's ready to eat. Okay, so that's it. As easy as that, cooking the croaker is as easy as that, frying the croaker. And if you, like say for instance, you know, I had started having uh, cro frying croaker. I started frying croaker because I don't live close to any Jamaican or Caribbean restaurant um, market that sells the type of fish we want. I know I get red snapper in supermarket that I get frozen in supermarket, but that's the only thing I get up here. So I had to try to find something to substitute and. The white fish doesn't taste anything like that. So when I came across the croaker and I started cooking the croaker, I realized that if it's properly cooked, then it's it tastes pretty close to the Jamaican fish. So guys, try this, leave a comment and tell me how you like it. And I will see you back here on my next YouTube video. And just please remember to like, share, subscribe. Exercise before dinner. And I will see you back here next time. Bye.